hello again. This is the director, Marlon Green. Here's something else to grow in on, grow on, being consistent, and what respect is, and how you know if you got respect or not. You will know if you got respect or not if your subordinates, workers, respect what you say and what you do. Because a lot of you all can't tell the difference. By me being an advanced, consistent, good leader, I have to cite you on this shit. Uh, I want to say if you're hiring more women than men, you're probably doing yourself a disfavor because they are the ones that are responsible for our well-being. The man is the slave on this planet. We are. We are. The men are slaves on this planet and the women would not admit it. The women, they would not admit it. They'll criticize men, but they won't criticize the Queen of England. As much as the royal family is on television, nobody asks them how they feel about their mother being a convicted criminal who's probably responsible for over a million kids missing by now. It was $300,000 in the 300,000 kids in the 60s. It's the 2000 something. Somebody should ask her how much blood that she drinks. That's what the fuck they should ask. Because if I was like Cosby, they'll drag my name, drag my ass through the mud. And here you got Queen, like Satan, responsible for at least 300,000 kids and is a convicted criminal. And they're scared to yield her in. They're scared to harass her. And she's going to live a happy life. I don't see how Julian Assange lasted this long in an Ecuadorian uh, 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 sanctuary or uh, what's it called? Uh, embassy. He has asylum in the embassy in the middle of London when you have the Queen of England control three quarters of the world and is directly responsible for at least 300,000 kids being missing. And you know a lot of those kids met a terrible fate and got induced to fucked up lives. And then you women could come on all of these talk shows, group up, and talk about everything else under the sun but what's real. I'm what's real. We can't trust white folks because they'll turn our own black folks against us. You can say one thing. And if she got to go through the white man, she going to have to deal with what he says because he's going to say another thing. So do not trust them unless you can prove their worth because they will stab you in the back. They will betray you. They will mislead you. And these days, anyone will take an advantage of you. They will do it. Uh, about respect, prodigy. Okay, the gangster rappers and everybody, they was giving, uh, you know, uh, Prodigy, Mob Deep, a lot of respect on the streets and in the media, which he deserves some of that. But you do not have the ultimate respect if after you die, niggas mark up your mirror. Now, I can see if it was years later and a nigga covered it up with something else fresh. But when niggas marking up your mirror... That means they don't like you. And one of the reasons to stay out of that, if, if you know niggas don't like you, don't make no mirrors because KRS-One don't have those problems and he got his mirrors on the wall. That's mad respect. A nigga bet not scribble that up. They know better. And you don't have to worry about me because I don't tag anything anymore. This was way back in high school we was doing... Uh, Tagging and stuff like that. I don't do that no more. But what hasn't changed is a lot of these dirty ass cops and a lot of these rappers in entertainment uh, serve the Illuminati and other special interests before us. Y'all need to get y'all heads out of your ass because they'll promise you one thing on the phone and then when you get to the office, it's something else. And see, that's why African Americans need to have their own shit because our women have betrayed us and they help squander our wealth away to others that don't have our best interests at heart. And so if you're a professor, you have to be reminding yourself constantly of the discipline that it takes to really get things going.
because I don't have the money, but I passed a lot of you all up, and I have a lot of you all bitter and insecure when you don't have to be. And you give all of this praise to everybody else and scared to give my praise, but you give your own shit alike and you don't like none of my shit. But I'm glad I got you bitches sick because as I go along, I'm meeting better and better talent and not everyone is going to be on the same level and at the same speed at the same time. And I'm going to pass you up as best as I can and I'm not going to let you dictate the rate of my success because I work hard. I got an honorable discharge. I'm a director of photography, which is a legitimate title. I'm in a hall of fame and y'all can't find no good to do for me or by me. It means y'all hoes. Y'all glut up every fucking thing. And the women are five to one in America. The men are the slaves. And they got five boyfriends on top of outnumbering men. Five to one. That's a horrific stat. And then y'all don't cook. You don't clean. You don't communicate. You got three times more than us and don't go through one third as much. You should be betraying the white man as many times as you can for us. And instead, you let them turn you on your own people. And y'all support cops and KKKs and Jews. And you can't even fucking support and take care of your own Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame members filmmakers and activists that are doing right by the community. You're the ones fucked up, not us. You need to get your heads out your ass because they don't respect you in the manner in which you're conducting your life and your business and your intellectual property. It's something that you should manage and not anyone else. And this is the Hall of Famer and this is why I do what I do.